Hi, everybody. I'm Mary Curves with Lifetime Cabarets. And Lifetime Cabarets show themes always tell a story along with some of the greatest music of the times. And I've missed performing in your communities and at events, so I thought this would be a great way to show you parts of my upcoming shows until we can get together again. And this first show is called Crooners and Divas of the 50s and 60s. Now these are all your favorite singers and songs and a little bit about their loves and their lives. And this first lady I'm talking about was America's sweetheart. She was everybody's girl next door. She actually started as a teenager with the Tommy Dorsey band singing and later became a movie actress and then had her own show. And I'm talking about Miss Doris Day. Sing along with this one, I know you know. When I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, what will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? Here's what she said to me. Que sera, sera. Whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Que sera, sera. What will be, will be. When I grew up and fell in love, I asked my sweetheart what lies ahead. Will we have rainbows day after day? Here's what my sweetheart said. Que sera, sera. You know, Old Blue Eyes was the crooner of all crooners, and I, I couldn't even do this show without including Frank Sinatra. He, there is only one Frankie, and this song actually became the theme song for the Apollo missions in the 60s when they were going to put a man on the moon. See if you can guess what it is. And sing along. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, darling, kiss me.
And let's not forget about his many Hollywood romances and marriages. That always kept Frankie in the news. Here we go. Fill my heart with song and let me play forevermore. You are all I long for. Frankie. And there was another voice, probably one of the most beautiful, in the 50s and 60s, and that was Miss Connie Francis. And Connie had a lot of heartbreak, four failed marriages, and she says to this day that her one true love was singer Bobby Darren, and he passed away very young while they were dating. When Connie sang, her voice always told a story. And here's one of her best. Who's sorry now? You know. Who's sorry now? Who's sorry? Okay, everybody, that's crooners and divas, and I hope to come out and visit you and do the whole show for you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. My next show is called The Golden Age of Broadway, and this one probably has the biggest wow factor of all of them because it brings to life all of the most beloved musicals through the decades. And these are all songs we know that come back time and time again. And this next song is from The King and I. And I know you'll remember it. And King and I is one of the longest running musicals in Broadway history. Whenever I feel afraid, I hold my head erect and I whistle a happy tune so no one will suspect I'm afraid. While 
while shivering in my shoes, I strike a careless pose and whistle a happy tune, and no one ever knows I'm afraid. The result of this deception is very strange to tell, for when you fool the people you fear, you fool yourself as well. While shivering in my shoes, I strike a careless pose and whistle a happy tune, and no one ever knows I'm afraid. Make believe you're brave, and the trick will take you far. You may be as brave as you make believe you are. You know, I don't whistle, so I'm going to need some you may be as brave as you make believe you are. This is called a kazoo, and you don't blow in it, you hum. outside and I think I'm going to need this. I think you're all going to remember this 1952 film musical that went to Broadway, Singing in the Rain.
singing in the rain. That is part of the golden age of Broadway, but I have many others, so I hope to come out and show you the whole show soon. This show is called Shirley of the Greatest Generation, and this one is truly a Lifetime Cabaret's original. It's about a girl growing up during the Depression and World War II, and a lot of the things going on at the time, and a lot of the best music of the time. And Shirley's father was a carpenter, and he had a hard time finding work around that time. And when he did, one of her fondest memories was that he gave the kids pennies for petty candy. You'll know the song. Everybody counted their pennies back then. Every time it rains, it rains. Pennies from heaven. Don't you know? That was Shirley of the Greatest Generation, and it truly is the story of a whole generation that's called the Greatest Generation. Hope you can see it soon. Hi, everybody. This is one of my newest shows, Chasing Rainbows, Judy's Story. Judy was one of the greatest entertainers of all time. And this show is about Judy at her best in the 50s and 60s when she was entertaining live audiences all over the world. She loved that because she felt the love of the audience and believe me, the audience loved her. And this is a song that I know Judy lived by. The words are just perfect for her. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. 
when you're laughing, when you're laughing, the sun comes shining through. But when you're crying, you bring on the rain, so stop your sighing. Be happy again when you're smiling. Keep on smiling. The whole world smiles with you. Well, Judy was one of the best entertainers of all time, even though we know she struggled with addiction from the time she was a teenager. And when she left MGM Studios and those movies, she started a very successful concert series and even had her own television show. By the way, do you like my gown? This was something Judy might have worn in her concerts and on television. Uh, she entertained in Las Vegas, in New York at Carnegie Hall, and in London at the Palladium. Everybody loved her, and nobody sang with as much passion as Judy. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. When you're laughing, when you're laughing, the sun comes shining through. But when you're crying, you bring on the rain, so stop your sighing. Be happy again when you're smiling. Keep on smiling. The whole world smiles with you. Well, another song that Judy always did, I'm going to need this, that she always did in her concerts, um, and she'll always be remembered for, is her rendition of Rockabye, My Baby. Rockabye, your baby. I'm 
Judy's Chasing Rainbow show. Come and hear Judy's whole story. So this show is called Yesterday, a 60s and 70s review. I had to do a show for the baby boomers, and it was all about a time when we were feeling real groovy. It was a time for fun, but it was also a time of unrest. We had the Vietnam War going, and this next song uh, is said to be one that most of the soldiers remember very well as they were away, far away, uh, defending our country. And it happened to be Old Blue Eyes, Frankie's daughter, Nancy Sinatra, that made it a hit. These boots are made for walking. <laughs> gonna walk all over you she means it too folks you keep lying when you ought to be truthing and you keep losing when you ought to not gonna walk all over you and she can be nasty too okay let's go sing along you keep playing where you shouldn't have been playing you keep thinking Gonna walk all over you. Yeah, gonna happen. Are you ready, Boots? Start walking! Um, the next song I want you to join me in singing was really an anthem for the 1970s. And, you know, we needed this song to kind of make us smile, keep our spirits up, and uh, join me in singing, Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head.
me. Well, I hope you come out and see yesterday, a 60s and 70s review. It's the grooviest show in town. Hi, everybody. This is my last show. This is my country. And it's a true celebration of the USA and our veterans. It's stories and songs that we all know that helped build our country in good times and in times of war. How many of you remember when the 4th of July became a federal holiday? Well, the year was 1941 by President Roosevelt. And who would have thought that just a year later, we would have been attacked by Pearl Harbor, in Pearl Harbor by the Japanese, and enter into World War II? Well, about this time, or right before Pearl Harbor attack, a lady by the name of Kate Smith teamed with famous songwriter Irving Berlin, and they released this song, which no one would have known would become most of the, one of the most beloved songs in our nation's history. Please join me in singing God Bless America. <laughs> No. 